Hello, my name is Stephen Earle, and I will be playing the small, some might say underwritten, for a thespian, role of the narrator of this story. In fact, a few of you may have already clocked that I'm actually the father of the director-writer of this story. Also, although it may not be expressed visually, many could see this film as his final attempt to gain my mutual respect and perhaps engage in the warm, loving embrace for which he has longed for so dearly through the years. This will most likely not be so, not because of my hostility or my sharp Shakespearean wit, but because of simple judgment of his previous filming outings. I mean, I've never had to use the word underwhelmed so many times to describe something. We're veering off track slightly. I shall begin my lines. This is the extraordinary tale of two ordinary chums, who on a simple day, bickering at the ragged playground, accidentally discovered something truly remarkable and unique. Wow! Bombs away with the adjectives in that sentence. In a story about a lack of logic, but again in fun. Oh, Christ. Well, here's the film. Just a restless feeling Your turn. Why? I did it last time. This is literally the first time this has happened. Alright then, how are we gonna get it now? Hang on. Five pounds says you can't get it. Yeah, fine. What's that? My respect. Oh, you dick. And now you've lost it. You were never going to paint, were you? Nope. But I could give you what's in my pockets. Well, better than nothing. Uh, a button, a pebble from my trip to the beach, a toothpaste receipt, and, um, the pocket knife. Really? I don't make the rules, Dylan. This is like the fifth time you've not kept your word. Why can't you just be a normal guy and keep it? Hmm? Just try normal to No offense. <laughs> you can't distinguish yourself by being the thing everyone else is. What? <laughs> Look at Norm the Runner. Constantly jogging. He hasn't stopped in four months. Why? Because he's different and people notice him for it. That's why I'm the way I am anyway. Plus, Norm's got the stanner as a spaniel. Legs like tree trunks. How you doing? You alright? Hi, Norm. Hey, um, I'm pretty sure Norman's got a psychological disorder that makes him think something's constantly chasing him. Whatever. It's quite sad, really. What I'm trying to say is that people will look back at their lives and think, Hey, do you remember that guy that told his girlfriend she might have an STD using decorated baked goods? I'm going to be remembered. Okay. But don't mix up being different with defying logic. I mean, for f**k's sake, Tobe, you told us she had chlamydia through cupcakes. Oh, my love. Might, might have chlamydia. Oh, you got it. How do you know? You tweeted it. That, I'll get it up. Uh, got the old chlamids. Hashtag anyone got any savlon. Hashtag it hurts. Hashtag talking about my Johnson. Well, at least I warned her. It's like that saying. If you haven't got anything nice to say, say it through Kate. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. But wait, wouldn't you want to receive something to soften the blow of bad news? Well, I'm afraid your entire family has been murdered, but don't worry. We've written it on a Danish, so it ain't so bad. A Danish is a pastry, not a cake. So if that was a sarcastic attempt to take a jab at my beliefs, then you, sir, have failed. I thought it wasn't that bad. It was kind of right. Ah, uh, your jabs are so half-baked!
Oh, oh, since you mentioned baked goods, I've been trying to knead that in. Oh, wait, wait, I was just... I'm just changing the subject because you know I'm right. Well, she took it in good sport, so what does it matter? Toby, she broke your nose. She punched it so hard. It was one time. You look like if Owen Wilson broke his nose. Ah, uh, but his nose is wonky for a reason. It adds to his endearingly kooky screen presence. You lost your sense of smell. Toby, are the sausages done? No. I smell burning. That's just your cataracts talking, Grandma. I don't care what they say, Kevin. These designs sure are grand. I get whiffs of stuff sometimes. Denial. Oh my god, fine. Normal might have been useful then, but only then. Uh-huh. Swings? The boys lounged about the playground for hours, talking about nothing, just enjoying the delightful summer air, the heavenly sunshine, and each other's company. Growing ever closer to a somewhat interesting discovery that could change science and the world for Oh, shit off. I was in the Royal Shakespeare Company. I can't read this stuff. Having read on, what happens is not even that interesting. You know what? Bugger this. I'm out. You've got better things to do with read this, this astronomical shit. Where are the ideas of the sweeps? Seriously boring as life. I know what would be a good idea. Quickly moving backwards and forwards. Hmm. At least he wasn't sarcastic about it. Props to him, because he's probably a millionaire by now. Yeah. Or dead. Bit pessimistic. Bit logical. Can't defy logic, can we, Dill? Don't be a smart ass. Alright, Mum. Anyway, he is. Who? Thomas Edison. Wait, the bloke who invented the light bulb? Yep. Made these fine instruments of youthful excitement. Wow. Those words sounded almost out of sync with my brain. But it sounded really smart. I should do that more often. And when did he do this? During his residential hours, not spent designing electronic orbs of light. Well, you f***ed that up, didn't you? He dabbled in playground equipment. Hmm. That's what you want to call it. <laughs> what else could I call it? Don't really know. I hadn't planned this far ahead in the conversation. Okay, since when has he been making swings? Um, ever? And where did you hear this? Can't quite put my finger on it. It's definitely a reliable source, though. Okay. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. I was... Because I was thinking... I know! It was on a penguin wrapper. I'm pretty sure those are jokes, not facts. No, not always. Yes, always. Huh? Actually, come to think of it, it was part of the joke. Great. Wasn't on a penguin wrapper, though. Where then? Oh, it was scratched into one of the public toilet cubicles. Yeah, oh, of course. Although, come to think of it, I think it was more of an aggressive statement. Thomas Edison created the swing! Didn't really get what it meant at the time. Well, you get what it means now, do you? Kinda. Wasn't Edison a famous jazz musician? Honestly, talking to you is like trying to sing along to a Lou Reed song. Huh? No matter how many times you listen to his songs, Every time you try to sing along, there's always that, that one part where his flipping pitch is so different to yours. It's like, it's like he doesn't want you to sing along. I'm struggling to see the link between this analogy and my behaviour. I shouldn't have brought that up. Now I'm both frustrated with you and I want to punch Lou Reed in the face. Stupid smug hipster. Well, you may be happy to know then that he's dead. Well, now I'm frustrated and depressed. If anything, I feel worse. What's that? That was... Why have you got food? I'm hungry. What, you mean you prepared for today? My mum worries too much. We're only at the park! Like I said, she worries. Well, did she make me anything? I told her you wouldn't want anything. What?! I can have my right eater. I'm not a menopausal housewife! Come on, that's not fair. Look, 
I didn't make the rules, Toby. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. You know what I'm like with food. I, I... Ah, I knew you wouldn't. You're a good friend. Your forgiveness is appreciated. Oh, we deserve that. You know what Josh Curry once told me? God rest his soul. Rest in peace, JC. You know, I still think about that day. Don't. It just seemed so simple. Foolproof. Stop. He liked feeding the ducks. Ducks like bread. A bread suit was the next logical step. We have to let him rest. There were so many of them. We just kept coming back. Toby. Malachite. So many Malachites. Can I give yourself another nose, please? Sorry, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> rest in peace, JC. So, what did he tell you? Basically, he said, that if you can jump off the swing whilst thinking about where you want to be, you'll supposedly land there. Or something like that. Well, that sounds like it'll work. Sark as subtle as usual. How do you know it won't work? Just logic. Oh, so you're fine introducing logic to the equation now, but when you might have given your girlfriend a sexually transmitted disease, it goes right out the door. You really will not let that go, will you? Did I give you chlamydia as well? Yes. You also got me pregnant. Aren't I just the worst? Fine, fine, I'll try it. Stop delaying. I just don't understand how this is supposed to work. Look, if we start digging through the logistics of this, we're going to end up in China. Just do it, nothing's going to happen. So you agree with me then? Oh well, yeah, but... There's no harm in trying, is there? Well, what if I break my neck? Uh, we'd all weep at your funeral. You can survive breaking your neck, you know. <sighs> well, then you'd just be looking sideways a lot. Okay, Toby. You've got this. Barbados. Barbados. You got this. Barbados. This is gonna be so cool. Barbados. Think of the pina coladas. Barbados. Barbados. Man, it would suck if I landed somewhere shit like Suffolk. No, wait! Oh shit, he's got the keys. Thank you.